So there are like three reasons why a teenager might have a trash can full of tissues. First off, they might have been sick all week and have had to wake up in the middle of the night profusely to blow their nose a bunch. Or maybe they had a bloody nose and it wouldn't stop. And now it looks like there's a murder scene in their tissue basket, their trash can. Or option number three. <clears throat> I'm not going to discuss that on this channel right now. <laughs> this past entire week, I have been sick and it has been awful. And I'm very frustrated at being sick because it's not fun, but like it's not the kind of sickness where you can stay home. Like I'm just getting over it now. The worst of it was like maybe Wednesday, I don't know, but I'm getting over it, but I still have a lot of memories of being sick. And it was just like a basic cold allergy season, I don't know. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to how I feel about this and what I'm going to be describing in this video because <coughs> it stinks worse than a skunk who just ate a bunch of baked beans and dumped himself into a trash can. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through why I hate being sick, but not sick enough to stay home, but it's still like annoying, and things like that. Things that like don't go the full way and just, you know, they're just gonna irk you for a bit. They're just gonna, you know, annoy you, make you a little bit mad, but not mad enough to, that it comes to your benefit, you know? So yeah, um, this is gonna be why being sick sucks. <laughs> and other things that annoy me. Cause a lot of stuff annoys me, although I try to stay rather happy. A lot of stuff ends up annoying me in life. So let's just jump into it. So the main thing why being like minorly sick, like having a cold or something, why it stinks is because like, you're not sick enough to be debilitated and like stay in bed and not do anything. It's not sick enough that like, oh man, I can't go to work. I can't go to school. You know, it's nothing like that. But um, it is sick enough so that while you do go to work or school, you have to blow your nose every five minutes, and half the time there isn't a tissue anywhere nearby, so you can't really do it very easily, so you end up having snot running down your face and you ruin your clothes by dabbing your nose on them. It's the worst kind of dab to do. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Like, there's just snot everywhere, and it's, it's not fun. Then there's the fact that you can't hear very well because you're blowing your nose all the time, so your ears are like clogged, like, twice this week. Um, my ears were, one of my ears was just like, it came, un, it popped, it was free, it was, I could hear, and I was like, oh crap, I forgot that I could do that. I forgot that I could hear clearly, you know? It's just so strange, but you don't realize it until it happens again, and then, you know, oh my gosh, my ear is free, like, you can't hear, and it's like, why? <laughs> like, why does this need to be a part of this sickness thing? How does affecting my ability to hear help the sickness, you know? Does it allow me to not hear the cold infect my body, I don't know, like, it's like it doesn't have a point, you know? It also makes your voice super duper awful, so when you're trying to film, like, you know, um, a voiceover for a nail art tutorial, you have to, like, do so much prep to clear up your voice, have tea right there, just try and get everything as beautiful as possible and do it as quickly as possible, but then you can't breathe throughout half of it, so then you sound like you're out of breath through it, but you tried your best and you needed to get it out by Saturday, and it's just so awful because you want to provide good content, but you can sometimes. But anyways, yeah, your voice sounds awful, and I am very theater-based individual. I love singing and dancing and performing and stuff. Like, my nose is clogging up right now. Unfortunately, this isn't gonna be very used to me since the words are all used. Um, but I like to sing a lot and it makes me happy. It's fun. I think I'm pretty darn good at it. I've taken lessons for like six years. I better be good at it. And it's just a lot of fun for me to just on the way home from school, just sing and belt and inquire even. It's fun. And like the sickness disabilitates that, it dehabilitates that, it prevents me from doing that. I don't know what the proper word is, but it, you know, removes my ability to sing very well because like my throat is damaged, my nasal cavities are not good, it's difficult to breathe, it's difficult to get, do everything. So then, <coughs> so then it's just, I just don't sing and then I feel really sad. I then in choir, I sing the best I can, but it's hard and it hurts a little bit. And like, I try not to push myself because I know that I ruin my vocal cords. So it's just, it's stupid because I don't feel like that's an important thing for the sickness to worry about either. Like, oh, the fact that this person can't sing will definitely help me infect the body properly. Like, no, it won't. No, it won't. And I know um, 
The sickness isn't really causing the nose clogging and dripping and the voice thing and the ears. That's what my body does to like fight the sickness. Those are signs that you're sick, but those are signs of your body like trying to cure the sickness. I just think that your body is failing in some points because like the snot thing. I don't know what the point of mucus is. I'll look it up. Don't judge me. Ah. I've been sick for a week straight. Don't judge me. Increased snot production is the one way your body responds to colds and allergies. That's because mucus can act as both a defense against infection and a means of ridding the body of what is causing inflammation in the first place. When you have a cold, your nose and sinuses are more vulnerable to a bacterial infection. So, <clears throat> mucus and snot and stuff, that's supposed to be a way to fend off diseases and protect yourself. Which, I mean, that's good. That's good and all. The only thing is, it's something that my body is secreting, and that's fine. It's just... Why does it give me pimples and irritate my nose to the max when it's dripping out of my nose? Like, I get it. Like, if it's something that's, like, supposed to help cure me and reduce disease and stuff, that's fine. I understand that. But, like, then why is it, like, interfering with my skin? Why is it making my nose red and raw? Why is it making pimples and stuff? Like, nose pimples, I have one right here. Probably can't see it. If you can't see it, yay you. Comment down below if you can see it. I don't know. Comment down below how many blemishes I have on my face right now. Here, I'll, here. Comment down below how many blemishes I have on my face right now. Just, whoever gets it right gets, um, a high five. Not really, you get a clap. That's for you. If you got it right, that clap was for you. But, um, so yeah, like, the fact that it causes, like, pimples and stuff and blemishes, that sort of seems counterproductive, because, like, you're getting rid of one bad thing, but you're replacing it with another bad thing. And, like, if it's supposed to be something that's good for your body, created by your body to help your body, then why does it hurt your body, you know? So um, that's why evolution is stupid. Uh, human body, where are you at? What's good? Fix it. <coughs> In order to prevent pimples on my nose when I'm sick, what I do, I just try not to blow my nose for as long as possible until it's like dripping out of my face. Then I go into the bathroom, I blow my nose, complete, do a complete nose blowout, clean out everything. Then I get paper towels and I wash it all down with water and like wipe everything off so it's nice and clean. And if I have any lotion, I'll apply it then. But I don't have any lotion at school, which is great. So then my nose is just dry all day, except for my second to last period teacher. She has lotion that she lets me use because I'm her favorite. <coughs> and she has lotion that she lets me use. So I'll use that and it'll feel like so good and so nice. And then when I get home, I put on some witch hazel. Well, no, I, when I get home, I blow everything out. Then I put on witch hazel and it stings a bit, but I'm like, that's a good sting, you're cleaning it. And then I go and I moisturize the heck out of it and I just try not to blow my nose for as long as possible because then I have to repeat the entire process over again so I can prevent myself from getting pimples and irritation in my nose area. And that's just too much work for something that could be easily solved if the body was like, hey, I'm going to make this mucus not a skin irritant. I mean, maybe the mucus itself is like, contains the bad bacteria and that's a way for the body to get rid of it which actually it is sneezing, that's probably the case. So that would make sense why it does bother your body. But like, I feel like there could definitely be a better way for it to be handled instead of just dripping out of your nose constantly to the point where it bothers the rest of your face. So this sort of brings me onto a topic of other things like this, where it's like, it's not, it's gonna go halfway to annoy you, but not fully um, disrupt something like snow. Now I am a Northeasterner. I live in the Northeastern US. So I get all four seasons, and it's sometimes great, sometimes it's really not. One of the times that's not is when um, it snows really, really bad, but then it's not enough to like close anything down. So what ends up happening, uh, you have to go scrape off your car if it's outside, and then you have to go and drive in the snow, and it's not fun because in the snow, you are very prone to, you know, um, crashing. And crashing is expensive. I can get onto an entire video on why I hate cars because they're so dang expensive to everybody involved. It's just awful. Ugh. But, so yeah, it causes that major inconvenience because then the salt tracks have to come out, everyone has to drive through the snow, and it's just awful, awful, awful because it's it couldn't have given us a couple more inches you know it had to stop halfway because then it's cold everyone's nose is running everyone's freezing your car is freezing everything is scraped you're late you're trying not to crash into someone else you crash into someone else you have to pay like a thousand dollars to fix it and it's just all awful 
or the snow could have just snowed a little bit more and then things could have been closed down so you didn't have to leave your house that's fine like that's a good thing but if you're not gonna go full if you're not gonna go full throttle then don't go at all okay i either want no snow or a snow day i either want like no sickness or to be debilitated in bed so i can't do anything okay i want the full throttle or I want nothing at all because otherwise it's like what's the point you're literally just there to annoy me you're literally just there to irritate people so that they just have to suffer and I don't like that it's like it's pointless um <clears throat> I will not kill a fly if I'm like outside and it's like buzzing around me I'll just swipe it away but if like you come into my home my territory and start annoying me I'm going to attack because that's how it works in the wild. I'm more of a pacifical toward person. I don't like violence that much. But when it comes to stuff like that, then I think it's fine. Because like, it, I know they don't live in the same area, but I'm going for a size concept. What if like a fox were to run into a lion's den and start prancing around the lion, poking it, buzzing at it, annoying it? The lion would kill the fox. Because that's just how it is. You don't go into someone else's territory and annoy them and expect to not get punished for it. You know, that's just how it works. So that's why I think that sort of thing is annoying. Cause it's like, you're just, you're doing nothing except annoying me right now. You're not serving any sort of purpose. You're not even like feeding yourself. I realize that you're just trying to escape the house maybe, but it's too late for you. Cause I open the door and you know what happens? Two more flies come in and it's just fantastic. Mosquitoes are another thing. Cause they don't really serve a purpose. I've looked up like what their main purpose in the food chain is. And there's literally nothing. There's like bats and birds. But the thing is, there's plenty of other things for bats and birds to eat. Mosquitoes aren't their main source of food, you know? The only thing mosquitoes really are good for is, like, population control and the way that they spread diseases and murder things. And I think that is not a, not a good reason for you to exist. If your sole purpose in life is to make sure everything else doesn't live as well, and then there's a problem. I saw this one post, and it went... If a mosquito bites you, bite it back and take back what's rightfully yours. <laughs> I think that's a fun idea. If your life's purpose is to irritate something, then I think that's not a very good purpose in life. That can be applied to humans in a sense. Like let's say that all you do is go around and hate on other people's videos and content. So right now, um, your life's purpose, ah uh, dang it. I'm too close to my bed so I can't do a full spin around. But if you're hating on people's um, content and that's all you do, you don't create any content, all you do is like go around commenting on people's content and discouraging it, and then your life's purpose right now is to annoy people. And I hope that's a fulfilling life purpose because it's not a very good one. Let's say that the majority of your content is like tearing down other people or, you know, just creating hate, annoying people. Uh, doing mean pranks and stuff, then right now your purpose is to cause hate. And again, that's not a very fulfilling life purpose, if you ask me. To you it might be, but I just hope you're happy knowing that you are the equivalent of a mosquito, causing negativity all around. I haven't really been the victim of anything like this. Um, there was this one guy, I think it was something about my James, one of my James Charles impression videos, and he just duetted it and said me waiting for the funny or something like that or like me looking for the funny part and yeah and i looked at the rest of his videos and they're all pretty much the same sort of thing with other people so i was like okay cool bye so i just blocked him you know but it's like things like that like if your main purpose in life is to spread hate and negativity and like put down other people then i really think there's a problem with you because that is not a good purpose in life and you are not like benefiting anyone, not even yourself. I love how I talk about snow days and snow and being sick got to this, but yeah, you can, um, <coughs> I'm in AP English, so I get very um, deep and poetic about stuff. I can do that because that's what AP English has trained me to do. It's just everything has a meaning and everything has a poetic meaning. What I hate about AP English is now I'm like, I'm watching fairy tale and it's like, oh, there's some foreshadowing. Maybe that has some sort of a representation about that character's past. No, I just want to enjoy the content for face value. I don't want to have to dig so deep into things. But anyways, I just think that if your purpose is to annoy someone, if your purpose is to be mean and then change your purpose, I'm talking to you, you little mosquito watching my video. I'm talking to you. I want you to stop sucking blood and spreading diseases and start... 
I literally can't think of a useful thing that mosquitoes can do. I'm sorry. Like, if you're a mosquito, do not watch this video. If you're a mosquito, do not subscribe. Do not look at this video. I want you out of my life. This is anti-mosquitoes, all right? This entire channel, all of my life is anti-mosquito. If you're a mosquito, get away from me. I do not want you. If you come to me, I will smack a V. I will smick, smack, smack a V, smack, smack. Dead, okay? This is not a mosquito-friendly zone. I am discriminating against mosquitoes. Got it? Well, yeah, this is just a short little rant because I've kind of been sick and I don't want to put too much on myself throughout the week for editing. And I needed to film something so that I could edit it throughout the week and have it in time by Wednesday. So, hope you guys enjoyed this rant. I hope you can relate to something. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm thinking of narrowing down my stuff. No one's been commenting on stuff, so I'm just going to select what I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, ranting and nail art because that's what... I think is something that I can reasonably do. Um, like I said in past videos, I'm planning on posting one main video on Wednesdays and then one nail art related video on Saturdays. Uh, that video is probably going to be me peeling off these nails right here. Uh, I probably mentioned at the beginning of the video, but if I didn't, this is Hollow Taco Rainbow Snow. Uh, I have like a full little Instagram post on it. I might link it down below. I should link it down below. Trevor, if you're watching this and editing it, link it down below. Please spend that extra five seconds. I believe in you. <coughs> so yeah, I'll link that down below so you can see this beautiful stuff. Hollow Taco, the company's Instagram actually went and commented on that post. And it was like, those nails are sick. Because the captain for that post was, the only thing sicker than these nails is me. Because I'm sick. This entire... Everything about me this week is just being sick and it's awful, but I'm finally getting over it I should be better hopefully by Monday. Of course a 10-hour work shift tomorrow might change that <laughs> If you enjoyed the video go on give me a like if you want to see more content subscribe And I post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Hopefully <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye -ya. Also, I'm filming this on leap day. Leap years are so much fun, mainly because I get to get the leap year dragon and dragon veil, and the double leap year and a triple leap year dragon. But yeah, happy leap day, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful leap year, leap day, whatever you want to call it. But February 29th just has a really nice aesthetic to me, you know? So, happy leap day.